Iran threatens to weaponize nuclear power to, quote, fight evil. Yeah, everybody likes to frame everything within their moral constructs. And their moral constructs are what they use to justify murdering their neighbors for reasons that fall outside of Romans 13. I'm going to repeat this stuff over and over again. It's just what I do. Iran, the Tom's nuclear site suffered major damage, officials say. From the BBC.co.uk, his successor, Joe Biden, has said he wants to return to the landmark accord, but Iran and the five other world powers still party to it. China, France, Germany, whatever. I'm not going to read all the names. Screw that. Need to find a way for him to lift U.S. sanctions and for Iran to return to the table. Now, Natan's blackout, new negotiating leverage or setback, Mark Levin, the Fauci of NYC. Wow. I'm, is he calling Mark Levin the Fauci of NYC? I don't get it. This is from JewishInsider.com. This is Iran Watch. New leverage or diplomatic setback. Washington debates impact of Natan's blackout. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. I don't, I don't have a picture there that he, they're talking about. Iran vows to increase uranium enrichment after attack. This is where this is really the, the, the relevant points coming up here. Iran vows to increase uranium entrench, enrichment after attack on nuclear site. Also from the New York Times. I think another story up here was from. Oh, not in this one. So this is David Sanger, David E. Sanger, and William J. Broad. Iran said Tuesday that they would begin enriching uranium to a level of 60% purity. Three times the current level and much closer to that needed to make a bomb. Though American officials doubt the country has the ability to produce such a thing. I'll just say such a thing. Iran may have destroyed Iranian centrifuges simply by cutting Israel. I'm sorry. Israel may have destroyed Iranian centrifuges simply by cutting power. And so this is a, a Redditor commenter saying, I believe so. I want to say that the previous joint U.S. and Israeli cyber attacks that tricked the operators with fake data and ran the centrifuges to destruction were same Siemens. Wow. That's interesting. So that's a, is that a U.S. firm there? Siemens? Totally open to a fact check on that. If not domestic, probably Russia or China provided or supported. So this is the notion that the U.S. aided in this. And I don't know. It's complicated. I, I have to think a lot more uh, and find out more information to, to, to determine if I actually believe that, that that is the case. Iran set to enrich uranium to highest level ever after attack at nuclear facility blamed on Israel. From Sky News, Iran says it will increase its enrichment of uranium to 60% purity. And it's basically repeating. I'm just showing you, giving you the confirmation. More and more people are. Seems to be a legit report on the, as far as that front is concerned. <laughs> World War Three fears. Uh, there's not going to be any World War Three until, unless and until people figure out how to neutralize nuclear weapon threats. And boy, when that happens, well, <laughs> and it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, and it's all on. It'll be a short war. Well. Never mind, I won't get into that. That's too long. What does this mean? Iran expects to produce uranium enrichment to 60% of purity next week, as confirmed by Qasem Garababi. Yep, Garababi. It's ambassador to the United Nations nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency. Iran's uranium enrichment program could mean the country is on its way to building an arsenal of nuclear weapons. And then finally, Iranian president calls 60% uranium enrich enrichment an answer to evil. Listen, when you're talking about nation states that fall outside of Romans 13, all of them that fall outside of Romans 13 with their actions in any way, shape, or form, by God's standards, they're evil. And I would argue that almost, maybe every, probably every, but at least almost every nation state is quote-unquote evil. So he's just really... Uh, He's just really uh, qualifying that, <laughs> whether he knows it or not, that, no, 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 they're more evil than us. I'm sure he would disagree with me. Iran's president has called Tehran's decision to enrich uranium up to 60% 60 60 after saboteurs attacked a nuclear site an answer to your evilness, linking the incident to ongoing talks in Vienna over its tattered nuclear deal with world powers, Israel, which has is not commented on the attack is suspected of carrying out.